What's up guys, if you are sick and tired of getting scammed by NBA 2K's packs, make sure to head over to safembamt.com, use code BUGS for 5% off a checkout, and get that cheap, fast, reliable MT that you guys definitely need in this game. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K21 My Team video, and guys, today, before we get into the video, man, make sure to smash that like button, drop the sub. If you are new, comment down below for the MT giveaway. We are going to run on the stream at around 2 o'clock Eastern. Um, so yeah, make sure we're going to show you this little spin right here. Hopefully we get some heat. Um, lately, it's been absolutely terrible, but we do get a pack. I think that's the moment Ray Allen. So W's in the chat for that. We're going to pop that, and then we're going to get right into the MT methods. Uh, we got new content about to drop, so... We'll see, man. We'll see what's going to happen. I'm going to go over a bunch of MT stuff, and yeah, we got nothing in that pack. But yo, we're going to get into this, man. Let's get it. So uh, yeah, we are going to talk about how ways to make MT in this video, man. As you guys do know, Limited is down right now. I just played a game. I actually got kicked out of the game. Oh my god. Versus a kid that wasn't good at the game, and it was actually close, and I almost lost. But then we got kicked out, and no one got an L, no one got a W. So I don't know what that was about. They're fixing limited. But yo, we're going to get into the market, man. I'm going to show you the filter. I made a lot of MT. As you guys can see, I have no MT. But I'll show you what I invested in quickly. I invested in so many Tommy G's, a couple Karan Butlers, Mad Nick Andersons. I mean, the list goes on. And then I'm trying to sell Havlicek. I got another Havlicek, Mono Ginobili, Karan Butler, Tommy G. I have a ton of players. Um, we're also trying to run limited. We, got, uh, we just got Blake as well. Most Malone, Kevin Garnett, Pete Maravich. The list goes on and on and on. And honestly... I'm going to make boatloads of MT. You know how my pack addiction is crazy? Well, yeah, I did pop about 100K in packs before. Got really nothing. But here's some filters, man. LaMelo Ball. Guys, I know this isn't on the new content, but trust me. This LaMelo Ball filter is just incredible. Um, trust me when I say this, man. There will be snipes all day on this card. He just pops up. He pops up consistently. He's a snipe every time. Yesterday on stream, we got one for 3K. We got one for 19K. We got one for 20K. We made bank on stream with this filter. Trust me. I don't know if it's as hot now, but yesterday it was. Definitely, definitely worth a try. So now, oh, uh, it's not a snipe. But yeah, trust me, this filter is going to make you a lot of MT. They're all active. A lot of people are posting Lamellos. If they see the Sapphire up there, they might throw the Emerald up for 10K cheaper. You're going to make 7K profit if you sell for 30K. So definitely, definitely sit on this filter, man. It's going to pan out. 29K. See how active this filter is? It's so active. And there's just multiple Lamella balls going up there every minute, every couple minutes. So definitely try out this filter one of my honestly this is my favorite filter in the game i made bank off that filter especially for budget ballers man it's a very good filter now we got the new cards we got red Millsap, all that good stuff my what i'm thinking is is Jokic is going to be very very expensive he's definitely going to be up there in value because he is the last lock-in so if you guys want you could definitely try sniping him now is there a filter that you could get him at isn't the best but you can maybe get Jokic. let's see i honestly I think Jokic is going to be a pretty good filter, not going to lie. I think you could maybe do center pink diamond as well. Uh, if I have Moses Malone, then who's on this filter? I think Kevin Garnett. No, nah, I think it's just Jokic. Kevin Garnett is a power forward. So definitely try sniping out Jokic, man. You could, that would be a huge W if you can. Um, definitely worth a snipe. He's going to be very, very pricey. Not only that, he's actually very good. Like he's a very good card. Not the best on defense. That's how Jokic is. But yeah, definitely sit on this filter for at least an hour, man. If you sit in this filter for an hour, you can make upwards of 100,000 MT uh, if you snipe out maybe one or two. Um, hopefully, you guys can snipe out that filter. We also got this filter, man. Red and Millsap. Red is definitely a budget baller. So let's go over it. It's the sleeper set, wherever that is. Unless it's not under sleepers. It's under like one wheel rise sleepers, maybe. One will rise sleeper. So Diamond Michael Red, my man Paul Milley. They're going to probably be... Ooh, Paul Millsap's already a buyout. So he's actually one of the cards that aren't expensive at all. So that filter is ruined as well. So guys, today, today, you guys are going to have to go over. You're going to just have to sit on the, the filters right now. Um, my best filters right now, man. Wiseman, LaMelo. They're, they're the most active filters. Anthony Edwards. These filters will make you hundreds of thousands of MT. You just got to be patient. Trust me. When you sell this filter for at least an hour, you're going to make upwards of 50K, guys. Trust me when I say this. I did it yesterday on stream. Made about 80K in less than an hour. Uh, in about 45 minutes, made about 80,000 MT between the LaMelo Ball snipes, okay? 
like I said, sniping is luck. It's all luck, man. There's really, there is skill, a little bit of skill. You kind of got to be quick with the sticks. But trust me, man, try out these filters. They should make you lots of MT. It's going to it's gonna be very easy to make MT off these filters too. They're very, very active. They pop up. If you're on these filters, you will make the MT. You just got to trust yourself. You just got to be patient. That's with every sniping. If you're not patient, you're not going to make MT. You're never going to snipe. That's the key. Just take a day out. If you already got Blake Griffin right now, it's just the time to snipe. Right now, me, I'm trying to make as much MT as possible. I'm trying to snipe out these cards. And honestly, man, I'm telling you right now, man, there is no better filter than LaMelo and Wiseman right now. You could say there is. There's definitely some pink dime filters. But yo, the most active right now by far is Wiseman and LaMelo. Let's go over to Amethyst Filter, man. We're getting super packs next week, so we shall see. Um, Amethyst Filter should be pretty interesting. We're going to maybe go over some investments and whatnot. Ooh, 4K Luis Scola. Oh, I definitely didn't mean to buy that. I'm going to buy that out. I could probably I could sell them for around 6,000 MT, so maybe seven, maybe 8,000. So 4K Louis Scola right there. The Amethyst filter is not bad whatsoever. Definitely try it out. Udonis Haslam is a pretty good guy for XP. There's going to be a lot of players that are going to go up in value. Trust me, you just got to invest. I have a million Tommy G's. I got him for around 4,500 to 5K. He's already rising to 6K. Then again, he is going to be in Super Packs, so maybe you could even invest it in when Super Packs come out. Because as you guys know, when the next season drops, a massive market crash will happen. Not only that, after the market crash, there will be a giant market rise. That's what happened in Season 2, and I kind of regret not buying players. I was very scared, but then they rose up like crazy, and whoever invested then made a lot, a lot of MT. So definitely try it out. Amethyst filter is definitely going to be very, very good today. Um, also, limited players. Monta Ellis has went up in value. If you guys did invest in him for around 85K, I actually did. I sold them all for 100. Um, didn't make too much money, but I'm going to show you what I'm talking about, man. Not Pink Diamond. Diamond Monta Ellis. He's at a bid again because you know why? He's on the limited challenge and he's actually a very, very good card. He's very good for limited. Um, so he's 99K. He's almost a bit again, guys. He's almost a bit again. So definitely, if you invested in him, congrats to you. Because I invested in him, I'm going to make MT. Um, Luis Cole right there for 4K. We're going to sell him off. But yeah, man, there is a lot of investments. If you want, let's check out Havlicek. Uh, let's see what he's looking like. So John Havlicek is no longer a buyout. Yesterday, I got one for around 90-something K. And as you can see, there's not a lot of Havlicek's up here. He was going for a buyout yesterday. He's now very, very expensive. And there's a decent amount on the auction. A lot of people are posting them up. Mine has three hours, 15 minutes left. Hopefully mine does sell for at least 120K. Cause that'd be a W. Is it a good time to sell them now? Is it a good time to sell these investments in the set now? That's my question. Let's go over them. So we got team ups, Ray Allen. He's still, he's actually kind of cheap. Is he worth the investment? He's gonna be in super packs. Try to pick him up during super packs. Cause Ray Allen is definitely a popular card. Who doesn't like Ray Allen? Do you know what I'm saying? So we'll see. We'll see what's going to go down. No one really knows. Um, investments right now. Maybe try sniping John Wall. He's probably going to be the rarest one out of the set. He's also very good. Uh, is Playoff Records an old one? Playoff Records is an old one. Allen Iverson's an old one. So team ups, definitely worth a try. Sniping out Ray Allen. Um, there's just all the pink diamonds in the set. Definitely try sniping them out. I think... Since there is a lot of like, a lot of people are trying to snipe them out. I think a lot of kids are going to throw them up for cheap. You never know. And one more thing. Let's check out Pink Diamond Shooting Guard, Manu Ginobili. I know he got him for 60K not too long ago. I got Pete Maravich yesterday for 70K. And he is up big time. So Pete Maravich for 70K was an absolute snag. He is up to 95K, I believe. 95K, man. Pete Maravich 92k so I'm going to make a solid 12k off the Pete Maravich in about a couple hours I got him yesterday for 70k I knew that investment would pan off so it looks like the market is starting to rise is it a good time to sell your cards it all depends man but yo other than that there's a lot of MT going on there's a lot of movement in the market and guys market is rising it might be a good time to sell your cards over the weekend and yo that's all we got for the vid hope you guys enjoyed hope you invested have a good one peace What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure you be up on Instagram and Twitter. I am buying and selling MT. Hit me up right now.